my name is Victoria and here's my question for Health Matters. Are all the sugar substitutes on the market today safe to use? Victoria, that's a great question, but let's talk about sugar first. In the United States, we, we consume 70 pounds of sugar per person per year. And sugar comes from two sources, sugar cane and sugar beet. It's exactly the same product. It doesn't matter if it's granulated, it doesn't matter if it's in cubes, and it doesn't matter if it's brown sugar, which has a little syrup in it. It's basically the same, 16 calories per teaspoon. It, it's sucrose, which is comprised of glucose and fructose. In the late 1950s, they came out with uh, saccharin, which was supposed to be a safe substitute for sugar, zero calories. And then we came out with aspartame, which was equal, and then Splenda. Splenda is sucralose. All of these have zero calories. All of these have a slightly different taste. Lots of controversy about those through the years. No study has ever shown that they cause cancer or any other disease. However, the trend has been towards natural products, and the latest one is stevia. This comes from a plant in South America. It's been around for centuries. It's a natural product. It tastes similar to sugar. The brand names are Truvia and Purevia. Uh, no studies have shown that these are harmful to anybody. But the thing that we should really know is that any of these products in a small quantity are safe. And sugar is safe in small quantities. For my taste, I soon have two teaspoons of sugar than one of these equal uh, or saccharin or Splenda. But the real danger, I believe, is in high fructose corn syrup, which is in all soft drinks and a lot of other products. Fructose is metabolized differently. It goes right to the fat cells. It's not used as easily for energy like glucose is. So I think you want to have any of these products in small quantities. It's safe, but avoid high fructose corn syrup.